Hi, welcome back to Tony's tutorial and we are continuing our discussion with the game cycle itself. In the previous video, we demonstrated what is a gate, what is a gate cycle, and what are the phases of the gate cycle, and what are the events in the gate cycle. So if we just want to brush it up, it's a gate we define, gate cycle, then we define it as the gate cycle contains a stance phase and a swing phase and we understood this stance phase is again made up of different events known as the heel strike, the foot flat, the heel off and toe off. Now we are proceeding our discussion. So in the different events in the stance phase, we know that the first event is the heel strike. Second is the foot flat, third is the heel off, and fourth one is the top off. If we evaluate these different events, we know that the heel strike is the first event in the gate cycle. So that is the first event or it happens at the starting of the gate cycle or single percentage of the gate cycle or one percentage of the gate is the starting of the gate cycle. Whereas foot flat, it occurs at the seven percentage of the gate cycle. In a hundred percent of the gate cycle, in seven percent, nearly around the seven percentage of the gate cycle, the foot flat happens. The heel off, you know that from this foot flat, for, for example, I demonstrated the heel side very easily. I demonstrated the foot flat very easily. Now I have to move like this, and only I can then show myself my heel off. So that means it's a bit more into the gate cycle. That is, heel off is at the 40 percent of the gate cycle, and then toe off is at the 60 percent of the gate cycle. That is, in the stance phase, different events of the stance. We know that stance phase is 60 percent of the gate cycle. This 60 percent is divided by 7 percent of the gate cycle, or 7 percent of the stance phase we have the foot flat, at 40 percent we have the heel off, and at the 60 percent we have the toe off. Why we need to know it is in, in fact now you may not need it, but in your exam point of view, you have to write it. But at the same time, when you are evaluating the gate cycle of different individuals, when these events are not happening in this synchronized manner, or the foot flat is happening at 20% of the gate cycle, or heel of is taking at least 30% of the gate cycle, that means some abnormality with the individuals, maybe with the muscles or the soft tissues around. So we can uh, utilize this ideology of the gate cycle to diagnose the patients. So, in this discussion, we are stepping forward. We know that the gate cycle is again divided into stance phase and the swing phase. The stance phase has various events, we studied that. And now we need to know there are three different sub phases for this stance phase. The stance phase itself is having different sub phases. For example, the first phase is known as the loading response phase or the weight acceptance phase. Can you just think of what is that? What is this loading response? What is this weight acceptance phase? If you think the word itself is self-explanatory, weight acceptance means the body is ready to accept the weight. Loading response means that loady body is responding to the weight or to the load. So the first subphase of the stance phase is the weight acceptance phase. That is where from the heel strike to foot flat. You know that if I'm doing like this, I'm not artificially doing it, I'm doing it naturally. If I'm standing like this and I'm going for my heel strike, okay, my body is ready to accept the body. Wait, the body, I just give a clue to the body, I'm going to put my weight down. So the body is ready to accept the weight. And the weight is accepted when the foot flat happens. And the weight is accepted. I don't know if you can see. So this is the heel strike, my body is accepting the weight and weight acceptance is done. So that is the loading response phase or the weight acceptance phase, which is that, that is between heel strike to foot flat. So the heel strike to foot flat of the body involves the weight acceptance phase. The next phase is mid stance phase. The word is arranged self-explanatory. It's a stance phase. It's a mid part of the stance phase. You know what, which is a mid part. Heel strike is done, weight is accepted. Then, from this foot flat to the heel off. The foot flat to heel off, that is the mid part of the stand cycle. Mid part of the stand cycle. That is known as the mid stand phase. Mid stand phase of the stand phase. So, mid stand phase is the second part of the stand phase where heel strike is almost done, 
food fat is also done. So from food fat to heat off, that is known as the weight, sorry, weight stance phase. So that are the second sub phase of the stance phase. And the third one is only two more things are remaining of the stance phase, that is the heat off and top off. So I did, and my heel strike is there, my foot pad is all of things, my heel is about to lift up the ground and to the top off. So from heel strike, heel off to top off, that is the last phase of the last phase of the stance phase, that is the push off phase. So this is the phase where I have already um, walking, okay, I have completed my first step. This is a positive acceleration. Now my body is behind, I have to move forward. So the push off is needed. This push off is provided by the heel off and the top off. So this is known as the push off phase. So this is known as the push off phase from heel strike, heel off to top off. Not this one. This is the swing phase. We are not describing about that. Okay, so from heel off to top off, that is in the which one in the last phase of the weight cycle or the last sub phase of the stance phase that is the push off phase or the terminal stance phase the last part of the stance phase so the stance phase in turn can be divided into weight acceptance or load response phase or loading response phase mid stance phase and the last one is the terminal stance phase or the push off phase that's all about our discussion about the stance phase that's all about our discussion about the stance phase so if somebody asks you what part of the gait cycle is the weight acceptance phase? So what is weight acceptance? I think weight acceptance is heel strike to foot flat. That is 0 to 7 percentage. So maximum 0 to 10 percentage is the weight acceptance phase. Then somebody asks me what is mid stance? What is mid stance? It is from foot flat to the heel strike, heel off. Foot flat to heel off. Foot flat is at 7. You know, it is 40, so 7 to 40 or 10 to 40 of the gate cycle is the mid stance phase. And in 40 percent, we have the heat off, and at 60 percent, we have the top off. So, 40 to 60 is the last phase known as the terminal stance phase or the push off phase. So, that's our description about the different events and the sub phases of the stance phase. Now, we move on to another phase of the gait cycle which may be difficult to understand is the swing phase of the gait cycle again going back to the previous video example we'll try to see how the swing is happening now observe my right foot i'm going to start my gait initially heel strike foot flat then it stands all coming okay heel is getting off toe is getting off and then there is this phase where I move my limb in the air. It is a stance phase. I move my limb in the air from the toe off to next heel strike. So this is the swing phase of the gait cycle. This is the swing phase. If you are clever enough, if you are observing carefully, when I'm moving my this leg, you can see the swing is happening in the left leg when this stance is going on this one. Just observe. For example. I'm putting heel strike, foot flat, mid stance. You can see what is happening to my left extremity. My left extremity is going for the swing. My left extremity should go for the swing. Then only I can put the left extremity again back in the ground. And then at this time, the right extremity can move away from the ground. Okay. Purposely, when I'm doing it, I'm not able to demonstrate it. We will see with the previous video example how we can demonstrate that one seeing the sub phases of stance phase you can see our individual is about to put the heel on to the strike that is a heel strike which is followed by the foot flat which both together continue, uh, contribute to the what you call the weight acceptance phase again onto the video you can see that body is about to accept the weight and foot is flat that is the end of of the weight acceptance phase or uh, uh, the loading response phase. So that is the first phase of a sub phase of the stance phase. And now, after that, 
flat, food flat you can see that the individual is placing food flat on the ground and immediately after that the weight is being transmitted through the same leg right leg transmits the weight left leg is about to lift off the ground so this is the phase of mid stance phase where the weight is being transmitted through the ground and finally the individual lifts off his heel toe heel and then the toe which marks the beginning of the push-off phase you can see the push-off phase again which provides the energy the propulsion energy to move forward so in this phase you can see the heel off it start with the heel off and end with the toe off so it is a preparatory phase to the swing phase and immediately after this phase you can see that the leg is going for the swinging so the swing phase begins I don't want to complicate you but as for the syllabus you have to study about the swing phase of the gait also the swing phase of the gait cycle is again divided into three which is an early swing phase a mid swing phase and a late swing phase like stance phase has three divisions Swing phase also has three divisions. One is the early swing phase, second is the mid swing phase, and the date is the late swing phase or the terminal swing phase. Let's look at the early swing phase. It is the early swing phase. The early swing phase means now we are not imagining about the heel strike and anything because our concentration is now on the swinging phase. So for swinging to start, the limb should be in the top of position. From the top of position, the initial swing phase starts from work from the top of position and then the limb comes like this it comes directly beneath the body it goes like this and it comes into contact with the and next next step next heel strike so in this the initial swing phase is the period between the toe off to the mid stance this is the position of mid swing phase the toe off to mid swing. The period between toe off to mid swing is not a early swing phase. It is a phase of acceleration. You know that the body has to move forward, so it is not a pre-swing phase or initial swing phase or accelerating phase. This is the accelerating phase. This is the accelerating phase. Now the body is in the mid swing. This is one of the mid swing phase. Mid swing phase is a phase where body is directly beneath, the limb is directly beneath the body after the pre-swing phase or the initial swing phase. Now, here the aim of the body is that the body should help in body is that the body should help in clearing the toe. For example, this is my initial swing and if my toe is starting or rubbing with the ground like this, what happens is that it can't follow forward, it propels the body. So during the mid-swing phase, my muscle should work in such a way that the toe is clear from the ground, it's not touching the ground. Then you may get propelled forward. So in the mid-swing phase, the aim of the body or the task of the body is to prevent the toe rubbing the ground, or better clearly we can tell to prevent to help in clearance of the toe from the ground. And then we have the last phase in the swing phase. That is the last phase, that is a late swing phase or the terminal swing phase, which is my body is accelerating here. Now I can't accelerate again. My body has to decrease the speed, it has to come down. It's a deacceleration phase. It is a deacceleration phase. From the mid swing to heel side, mid swing to heel side, my body constantly deaccelerates so that I can step down like this. So this phase from mid swing to heel side is one of the which one the terminal swing phase. So the swing phase of the human body can be divided into early swing phase, mid swing phase, and late swing or terminal phase. Early swing phase is one of the acceleration phase. Mid swing aim is to clear the toe, and the last phase or the late swing is one of the the acceleration phase of the gait. So these are the different. Events in the gait cycle, these are different subfaces of the gait cycle. What I want to do is that that should be a hundred percent understanding of this. That's why I'm putting this much strain and explaining this rather than just with the help of a PowerPoint presentation. So that should be a hundred percent understanding of this. So in throughout in your coming years, you can 
Whenever you hear, whenever you see a patient whose toe is not getting off correctly, who is not doing the heel strength correctly, there is a problem with the foot gait. You can correlate this back. Whether there is heel strike, whether there is foot pad, whether there is mid swing, whether there is early swing, whether it's deaccelerating, etc., you can correlate back and get to an understanding. For that, spend some more time on to this. Never think it is done. Stop the video or keep the video playing somewhere. Practice with yourself in such a way that you can understand it. If you can possible, just record a video of you yourself walking and then play it in the slow motion and look whether the things are happening in the exact manner. Because when I'm explaining like this, I'm purposefully demonstrating. For example, when I'm walking from here to here, everything is happening. But it's difficult to visualize in this fast manner. So maybe to maybe a slow, you know, play it in a slow motion or record it in a slow motion and other sort of things. That's why this seems to be a bit difficult. So it's all up to you. Keep working on this, I do this and master these basics of the gait. And next videos, we will see about different terminologies of the gait, where what is stride length, what is step length, what is step width, what is toe, etc. Until then, stay tuned.